It is 1325. A young scholar from Morocco bids farewell to his family. He sets off stubbornly alone on an epic journey to Mecca. His name, Ibn Battuta. He risks his life to become one of the greatest travelers of all time. Join him in places you have never seen before. From the largest camel caravan ever assembled, to splendid ancient cities. Experience for the first time on the giant screen. One of the most extraordinary gatherings of people on earth, the Hajj, as it continues to this day. Journey to Mecca, now playing. It's really everything that an IMAX film should be because audiences go with the ex expectation of learning things and they're going to learn things in this film, Western audiences in particular, that will, that, that, that I think will leave their mouths hanging open and they'll just say, I, I had no idea, absolutely no idea. And that's, and that's good. So if this, yeah, plays some small part in, in uh, increasing understanding uh, and, and, and maybe helping to sort of you know, drive away some of the, uh, the false preconceptions that we all make when we're not informed, you know, when we're uninformed and we're ignorant. You know, I have them, you have them, we all have them. So maybe this will help dispel some of those things. It's certainly the most challenging thing I've ever tried to do, and I've been involved in films going underwater with 3D cameras and going into space and hooking up with the Mir space station, and they're all pretty complicated, but this was extremely challenging. Um, uh, but equally rewarding, because we were able to accomplish something that no one else has ever accomplished. I hope that it will do what it was intended to do, which was to educate people and to show, particularly non-Muslims, what the pilgrimage means to Muslims, but also to show Muslims who cannot make the pilgrimage, either because of physical disability or financial constraint or for whatever reason, um, the, uh, what they are missing. Uh, by by not uh, making the the pilgrimage and hopefully it will give them solace uh, in some way or other uh, about uh, the the uh, their inability to make uh, to make the pilgrimage by seeing how it is done pilgrimage is not only an occasion for uh, prayers and and connecting with the divine but also, it's an occasion for people to connect with each other. Um, hence, you find that the pilgrims from across the world, when they come together, they generally discover that, uh, that they have many things in common, uh, whether they are from different races or from different backgrounds or from different countries. And there is tremendous value to that as well. Three thousand miles. 
Mecca is 3,000 miles to the east. Some say it is too far. But I am determined to make this journey. As so many have in the past, and so many will in ages to come. The great Damascus caravan is a moving city of 10,000, with one purpose. Reach the holy cities of Medina, and then Mecca. There are architects, physicians, poets, and even beekeepers. I could never have imagined such a community of the road. Like a river, it flows toward the plain of Arafat and the Mount of Mercy. It was on the Mount of Mercy where the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, delivered his final sermon. He called on us all to remember the virtues of Abraham, charity, friendship, and forgiveness. One of the great challenges of building the set was the research of what was the, the holy mosque like in the 14th century. We've had a lot of pressure to get things right, to get things precise, and we've brought in experts to verify certain things. The producers have been telling me, you're going to see Mecca in the desert of Morocco. Today I saw it, and there it was. Now we had to remove several thousand tons of earth just just to get our level. As the day goes on, you'll see how big it is. We've been working with all of the camels and all the extras, the costumes that we got going, you know, the goat handlers, the palanquins, it's all represented. We knew we had 500 extras and 300 camels, so we sat down and we broke up the caravan according to historical accounts of the Cairo caravan and the Damascus caravan. You know, this looks great on paper, so we at least we start with a plan. And then as soon as the whistle goes, the plan goes out the window. All hell is going to break loose. Break loose. When we started the project, we wondered how close that we as non-Muslims could actually get to Mecca. We set up a base camp near Arafat, 
and we could see the mountains over the hill, but it wasn't for us. So in Saudi Arabia, we had to teach people almost every aspect of filmmaking. We pulled people from nearly every Muslim country in the world. Some people just literally, they're learning under fire. You know, it's throwing them into battle and say, go to battle. So uh, it's uh, singing uh -huh. with a drone in C. If you want to, you know, give him the echo, maybe reverb, he might he might feel more inspired to make it more dramatic. Sure. Try that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Great. Yeah, terrific. 